Hello guys, welcome again to Combatron Gaming and today I'm going to make an in-depth and comprehensive review of one of the latest gaming laptops of MSI under their GS series arsenal. But before I do that, please feel free to watch the quick summary review of this same unit on the link on the description below and I have featured there uh, the different specifications of this particular laptop but what I have here right now is called the MSI GS66 Stealth 10SE, which is having the latest 10th uh, generation i7 Intel processor. It also has an RTX 2060 NVIDIA graphic card. It has a 32 GB DDR4 RAM and a 500 GB M.2 SSD. And also, just for comparison purposes, I have here his older brother and its predecessor, the GS65 Stealth. So, let's begin. Let's start it off with the chassis. As you can clearly see, the MSI GS66 Stealth is just basically core black. It's very low-key and simplistic. Even the logo, if you can see it from here, it's also low, pro low profile as well with its dark gloss that stands out from the matte black finish of the chassis. And if you can see the whole unit, everything is just simple core black there you go uh, the GS66 is a few millimeters thicker compared to the GS65 so um, here's the side view the height the thickness difference between the two and actually um, GS66 is a bit better in in terms of uh, its size because uh, it gives a more solid and robust uh, look compared to its predecessor. Now going on the IO essentials of the GS66. So on the left hand side panel you have the power port and this is your Thunderbolt 3 port and this is an HDMI port so basically you can attach two additional external monitors on this laptop then you have one uh, USB 3.2 type A uh, this part are on the left side panel is the air vent on the right hand side panel so you have your audio jack and this is a USB type C port and you have two additional uh, USB Type A 3.2 and this is your LAN port and this is the right hand side uh, air vent back end panel so you have additional air vents here for air circulation this is the back panel of the GS66 and what I really like the most about the GS66 once you open the back panel you can easily access the SSD slots and even the RAM so you can easily upgrade it and in speak, speaking of upgrades so the GS66 can have a capacity of up to 64 GB of RAM and you can install up to 2 terabytes of SSD on this machine it, also the Wi-Fi card can be upgraded so basically this machine is future proof one of the most important factors in choosing a gaming laptop is its cooling efficiency and one of the good things about the GS66 is that it has the Cooler Boost 3 Plus where basically it's, it's an enhanced version of the Cooler Boost Trinity. And what they did here is they have really improved the efficiency of the fans and together with the 7 heat pipes, uh, it will help on regulating and maximizing the cooling efficiency of this laptop. Another good thing about the GS66 is the battery. This laptop has a 99.9 watt hour battery capacity which is actually the biggest battery for a portable laptop that is allowed inside airplanes. Most airlines have this regulation that the maximum allowable battery size is 100 watt hour. Anything exceeding than that, uh, the airlines will not allow you to bring that, uh, your portable device on board. On light use, this battery will last about 6 to 7 hours before it will need to be charged again. This is the Duo Wave Surround Sound System. What basically this uh, system does is it resonates the sounds both at the bottom part and on the top part of the laptop. 
Now looking here, the two open slits is still part of the sound system. What basically happens here is that the audio sound goes out at the bottom and it resonates also here at the top on the two open slits and that's the reason why it's called the Duo Wave Surround Sound System by Dyna Audio. One thing to take note though on the MSI schooling system which is actually prevalent on all other models of the MSI gaming laptops is that uh, the fans can be a bit noisy when you are on cooler boost mode but just to show you comparison this is what the fan sounds like when it's on a normal or silent mode okay let's turn on the cooler boost which is on extreme performance So the machine can be a bit noisy when it's on a cooler boost but actually that is a good thing because we know that the fans are on its uh, optimum performance on dissipating the heat that the machine would produce on the program or games that you are running. A quick workaround here is if you are wearing a headset especially when you're gaming it's much advisable to wear a headset so at least you won't get distracted by the fans noise. There have been reported cases in the past wherein there were uh, incidents where the hinges of the older GS65 have had some issue with regards to its durability. So what MSI did for the GS66 is they have greatly improved the durability and uh, sturdiness of the hinges. So uh, that's really a great improvement coming from uh, customer feedbacks. And speaking of the overall uh, improvement in terms of sturdiness of uh, the hinges and the overall screen, this laptop can actually flip 180 degrees and the good thing about it is I don't even need to hold the base of the laptop anymore just to flick open the screen. And this is a side-by-side -side comparison. In terms of sturdiness, as you can see, the old GS65 uh, it's a bit difficult to open. I need to open uh, to hold the base of the laptop for me to flick open the screen, and it's a bit wobbly if you can uh, if you can notice from here. But as for the GS66, uh, there's still a bit of a wobble, but this is a bit uh, solid and steady. So they have really greatly improved the overall quality and solid sturdiness of both the hinge and the screen of the laptop. Another great improvement on the GS66 is actually the trackpad. And the first thing you will notice is that the trackpad on the GS66 is a bit bigger or wider compared to the GS65. But the best part of this is that the GS66 has a more solid and smooth feel and the track movement is more accurate. And you can actually tell the difference because the GS65 has a solid plastic feel and the GS66 has a smooth solid um, glass feel on, on the trackpad. The GS66 has a 10 key less keyboard setup and it is powered by the SteelSeries RGB keyboard which also runs the SteelSeries Engine 3 wherein you can actually customize the RGB LED per key or you can simply select and cycle between pre-configured RGB profiles. And another thing that I liked about the uh, keyboards of the GS66 is this has a tactile feel. And as a gamer, this is something that you really like. This tactile feel is actually really good and it has a more accurate response whenever you're typing on the keyboard. One of the awesome features of the GS66 is actually the display screen because the GS66 has a boasting 300Hz display refresh rate. Actually, depending on the model, there are two variants of uh, the refresh rate of the screen. You can have either a 240Hz and the maximum 300Hz uh, capacity refresh rate. And another thing to notice here is MSI has maintained the thin bezel of the screen so you have a bigger screen to body ratio and you'll be able to enjoy more this uh, because you are maximizing the screen of the laptop and in terms of brightness actually uh, this has an ample amount of brightness for you to 
you know, for you to game and watch movies and see everything clearly. Another awesome feature of the GS66 is the IR face recognition technology. Basically what this does is you place your face in front of the camera and you can safely log in on your machine via facial recognition. The GS66 is equipped with the killer application. It has the killer extend, killer double shot and the killer Wi-Fi 6 program. And what this application basically do is it lets you customize and prioritize uh, your internet's bandwidth depending on which program you want your internet connection should be focusing on. And this is very essential for gamers because we want to make sure as gamers that our internet is entirely uh, allocated on the games that we are playing so we avoid having disconnections or experiencing lags while we are playing online games. The GS66 is also powered by the latest Nahimic 3 uh, audio immersion application. So what this program does is provide you that immersive 7.1 surround sound experience on the games you're playing or the music you're listening to or even when you're watching a movie. So let's give it a try on what this uh, application does to in improve and enhance the audio quality. So let's start on the game. So this is the sound when the Himic 3 is not turned on. Launch sequence activated. Three, two, one. Mission complete. Even on communications when you're uh, doing conference calls or webinars. So this is the improvement it gives when you have the Nahimic audio application. All right, let's begin. I'll try to find some meds. I've got a gun. I'll be handed over to help. There'll be only two as far as I saw. So if you guys see one of them... Yeah. Oh, I see him. He's on the first floor. West side. My side. There you go. And we can also use the Nahimic application on the on the sound quality of the microphone you use regardless if this is a, a separate microphone or the microphone you use on headphones so uh, just to give it a try this is my sound when i'm not using the nahimic 3 application and this is my sound when i'm using the nahimic 3 application so you quickly distinguish the difference of an immersive sound uh, experience from a normal one the Dragon Center is one of the most important programs in any MSI gaming laptop. In the Dragon Center, it, it enables you to control and customize your gaming laptop the way you want it. And it also helps you monitor your laptop's performance. And in here, you can easily adjust and optimize your system with just one click of a button. And in the Dragon Center, you have this gaming mode. We're in. This is an auto-tuning function on a specific games that you are playing, so it gives you the best possible video and audio gaming experience. The user scenario uh, is a function, it's an auto-system tuning which gives you different presets depending on your need. It also allows you to customize those presets depending on how you want the performance of the laptop and even the fan speed. And in here, you can also overclock your graphic card up to its maximum acceptable potential. Here also you can uh, adjust and you can boost. You can customize the fan of both the CPU and the GPU and it also has that functionality where you can just click the one button cooler boost option. All right, And in the general settings, Basically, this is where you can enable or disable the Windows function key, the function key, and the webcam. In here also, you can enable the crosshair display, which sometimes is helpful when you are playing shooting games. Another cool feature also in the Dragon Center is the GPU switch. So you can select between the hybrid or the discrete graphics mode. In the discrete graphics mode, basically this is where you choose the dedicated NVIDIA graphic card. The hybrid mode is fairly important because this is essential when you are 
using an extra pair of uh, monitor together with your laptop. The Dragon Center also has the monitor uh, feature wherein here you can basically monitor the thermals and the overall performance of the laptop. The Dragon Center also has the true color wherein you can choose between different color temperatures and brightness on the screen display. And it also has the ambient link where it enables you to synchronize the RGB LED function of your keyboard and the other MSI gears that you are associating with the laptop. Example is an, an MSI RGB gaming mouse and an MSI RGB uh, gaming uh, headset. So it lets you synchronize the keyboard, the mouse, and the headset with the Mystic-like function. Another important uh, tool in the Dragon Center is the Battery Master. Because here, uh, you can calibrate your battery once in a while, so it helps you prolong the lifespan of, the, of your laptop's battery. Alright guys, so now that we have seen the improvements and the latest features of the GS66, I think it's now time for us to test this machine on how it will perform on the benchmarking programs and on some uh, AAA games that I will be playing. Though, since this uh, machine is only having an RTX 2060 graphic card, so I'm not expecting it to run on ultra high settings and I'm also not expecting it to achieve the 300 hertz uh, display refresh rate because uh, I would assume that uh, 300 hertz can be achieved on a 2080 graphic card but at least I'm hoping and I'm anticipating that this machine will perform on high settings so let's find out how it will perform in those games and I'm also looking forward to see how the Cooler Boost Trinity cooling system will uh, will regulate and dissipate the heat that this machine will produce on those uh, AAA games so let's give it a try
All right, so that concludes my review with the uh, MSI GS66. So uh, overall, I'm pretty much impressed with this machine. But before anything else, I would like to mention some of the pros and cons that I have experienced while uh, using and testing this machine. So some of the things that I didn't like on the GS66 is the first one is the LAN port. Uh, honestly, they could have just easily placed it here at the back because uh, at times it really gets in the way when I'm using a gaming mouse and another thing that uh, uh, I didn't like is the uh, the Dyna audio here the speakers basically uh, they they sound pretty much average there's more treble in it than the bass part so it's really not balanced but uh, it, it tells something else when you're using a headset and that is something really that's good one of the best things that I like here on the GS66 is the color. It's very simplistic, very uh, professional looking. So, you know, it, it goes by the name. For the first time, it has really lived up to its stealth name because if you are just merely looking at the laptop, you will really not uh, think that this is a gaming laptop. Only such time that you will know its power once you start using it. But it's very uh, low profile, very simple, so that's one of the best things that I like. A gaming laptop is a very compact machine, so it has uh, lesser uh, room for air circulation compared to a gaming desktop, so your laptop tends to get hot when you're, you're playing on high settings. That's pretty normal, guys. That's the reason why a gaming laptop should have a very good cooling system. The Cooler Boost Trinity Plus is uh, really very essential and it's very effective in dissipating the heat and regulating the thermals of this machine and so that's it uh, overall i recommend the gs66 if you are the type of person who really packs light if you want a thin and light a gaming laptop this is something for you so this is pretty much an all-around uh, looking laptop you can play you can do work you can do uh, you can create videos here it doesn't matter it has the capacity and the power to do all those plus it's very low profile and simplistic the gs66 is now available in the middle east here in the uae it's available in the uh, power retail shops in uh, virgin and in jumbo electronics and I know this is also available on the retail, some of the computer retail shops in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Sharjah. So there you go. Again, guys, thank you very much for bearing with me in this review. Uh, honestly, I still have a lot of uh, rooms for improvement in terms of uh, reviewing stuff. But thank you very much for bearing with me. And please. Uh, if you like to see the quick summary review of this video, the link is on the description below. So just feel free to watch the quick summary review of this unit. And again, thank you very much for tuning in. Please uh, hit like and subscribe so you'll be able to see my future reviews on the other MSI gaming laptops. So thank you very much. See you on the uh, next review.